This is Coach Adam White uh, here at Fringe Sport Headquarters, and we're going to talk about a couple things you can do with your One Fit Wonder kettlebell uh, outside of exercising. <laughs> They kind of smash the back, they kind of go through all these routes, but uh, how many times have you ever smashed your gut, right? Like how many times have you ever worked on the soft tissue of your abs or you've had a grueling ab workout and you've never rolled out your abs or done anything to work on kind of the, the, the uh, smaller musculature like the psoas or the QL or the iliacus uh, outside of somebody working on it for you, right? So we've got a kettlebell here, a nice one foot wonder kettlebell, and we are going to do some simple gut smashing. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take the kettlebell and have it uh, this direction first. And um, if you think, uh, I'm going to work on my psoas. The psoas, if you take uh, kind of the inside of your rib cage and come right through here, it's in this general area, right? It may not be completely perfect, but if you're getting into the gut, um, that you're going to get some positive work done no matter what. Uh, so a couple rules before we go on this. Any numbness and tingling, uh, you're done, get off the area, right? If you have any pulsating, get off the area. You should be able to relax and breathe deeply while you do these exercises. Nothing, um, uh, nothing should feel sketchy or dangerous. Uh, another thing, since we're kind of working in the pelvic floor area, if you feel like you are going to uh, either wet yourself or uh, poop your pants, that's what's gonna happen. So uh, get off that area and go ahead and uh, take care of what's necessary. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to kind of get into this position and I'm just gonna kind of go right over the kettlebell. I'm gonna get some good pressure into my psoas and I'm gonna sink deep. Notice how I'm breathing here. So when I gut smash, I actually shouldn't be talking because that means I have some extra tension in uh, my abs. So, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second here and I'm gonna take a nice belly breath in. Notice how I really relaxed over the kettlebell. That really made kind of the pain worse. I don't know if you saw it in my eyes, but I lit up a little bit. Uh, so you want to be nice and relaxed here. Notice I can just take nice deep breaths in and out. I can contract, so that means I'm gonna squeeze my abs. Five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna relax over the kettlebell, and I'm gonna get in a little bit deeper. Nice nose breath in, breathe into the diaphragm, and then exhale. So then I can simply take the kettlebell, and I start a little high. Now I can place it a little bit lower. And today we're just going to clear the gut. We're not going to go too low into the pelvic floor. We're just going to kind of stay from uh, rib cage to the top line of your pelvis. And we're just going to kind of clear out those areas. If it's painful, that's, that's okay as long as it doesn't break any of the rules that we talked about the first time. It, the pain, the feedback means that, look, that tissue is stiff and it needs to be worked on. So we're taking nice deep breaths in, exhaling over the kettlebell, working on the soft tissue of not only the abdominal muscles, but uh, kind of the really in here, it's uh, the psoas. And uh, down when we get a little bit lower, I'll have a separate video about how to you know, get into your iliacus and kind of working on the pelvic floor. So this is not only going to improve your squats, your deads, if you have any back pain, this is almost one of the number one things you should do to help you out. So this is Adam White, just showing you some kind of uh, unconventional things you can do with your one fit one or kettlebell and uh, to improve range of motion and to all around feel better.